Well, Fluitog is one of the first uh, dedicated airport expresses in the world. It was uh, built in uh, and opened in uh, 1998, at the same time as uh, Heathrow Express and Arlanda Express. And now we service more than 6 million customers a year. And uh, there are two different services, one non-stop service between the airport and also cent the center of Oslo, and uh, one extension uh, into another city and to the suburban area of Oslo. We started uh, e-ticketing uh, five, six years ago. Uh, we took away all the GDS uh, bookings, all the, um, you know, the travel agencies and tour operators uh, 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 when they launched the e-ticketing. And now nearly 60% of all of our customers are using the e-ticketing system. No paper, uh, only use your uh, credit card. And we try to use existing technology in an innovative uh, way. Uh, and we thought, you know, what, what are, are all customers carrying in their wallet? Uh, a credit card with a mag stripe. It could be a chip, it could be a NFC, you know, modern um, contactless card. But, you know, most of us have a mag stripe in our pocket. So we took actually the mag stripe technology back and made it in a new uh, sort of uh, innovative wrapping. The, 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 the card reading system, the part of it, you know, the mag stripe thing is. Uh, uh, in Scandinavia, chip technology is very trendy for, for the time being. So to add, add on a chip reader, but also a, uh, a um, contactless card reader for, uh, for mobile phone devices or for card devices, that's the next step we are, we are going into now. The iPad technology, we try to use that for staff and for the organization internally. You can have on the iPad, you can have uh, like an app, like icons that you can press on. Uh, when you come to work, you can press on an icon and then you are registered within the system. You can have all your uh, documents and all your uh, you know, the safety and security papers and manuals and handbooks in, in the iPad. Uh, that actually increases uh, safety uh, uh, because it's all, always updated. And you can, uh, when you have read uh, various papers, you can just sign the papers uh, electronically and you can ju just by pressing a button. And then you can add on, you can have customer uh, loyalty card systems, you can have information on customers, you can have uh, statistics, you can have internet, internet, you can have customer, uh, you know, some um, uh, very important customer sites like hotels, you can have airlines, bookings, etc. on that. Creating that good uh, customer experience, design and uh, being efficient, uh, simplify everything. Uh, that's why we don't have uh, ticket validation on board the trains. We, of course, we think it's important to create this uh, kind of uh, oasis feeling when you're on the train. You can just sit there, you can go in 210 kilometers per hour, and it takes you to only 90 minutes. You don't even have to read the newspaper, you don't need to open your uh, computer, but if you want to, we have large you know, in, uh, wireless uh, internet connections on board the trains. There are monitors uh, that you can look on you know, to watch uh, news, both international news and Norwegian news. Uh, so that's a good travel experience, that's mm -hmm. the first priority. Well, we did a, a great uh, refurbishment uh, program last year. We actually changed all the fabrics on the, on the seats and also the cushion uh, in the seats. We uh, changed all the, um, the floor, uh, the floor and the, the wall, uh, the walls, the, you know, the, the, the fabrics on the walls, the ceilings, you know, more or less everything inside the trains. We didn't change the design, you know, dramatically, but we did some, uh, some small adjustments to the, to the design. Uh, and also on the stations, we have done a lot on the stations, on various stations, and uh, big project now is, is uh, the ex expansion of, uh, of uh, Oslo Airport, which is a very big airport, 20 million travelers a year, and it's going to expand for um, the next year, uh, so, so we can take 28 million passengers in five years and 35 million passengers in 10 years time. So it's going to be a big airport also in, in European comparison. There are increased uh, competition from the national uh, train company. Uh, we are both owned by the government, so it's up to the ministry to actually uh, <coughs> decide 
how they're going to use the, the two uh, train operators. Uh, and you know, the challenge is that the other operator has uh, subsidized uh, prices, tickets. So it's uh, much more, I mean, the, the prices are low. <coughs> it takes a longer time. Some train stops in more station, but you know, if the, the competition will increase. So we have to uh, adapt to that, I mean, uh, and, uh, and focus more on the product. So we are now launching a, a big uh, project, which is called uh, development of the product within uh, our company. And we will focus on, uh, on the train, the product itself, and technology. That's the two main focus areas.